and welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing Kure and this is BK Series. If this is your first time coming across my channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications because you're going to have an amazing time here. Well, today we're going to be unboxing the Hohem iSteady V2 3-axis gimbal stabilizer for mobile phones. I'm excited about this because the Hohem seemed small from uh, pictures and stuff I saw, but it has an amazing payload capacity. For a device that weighs 263 grams, being able to carry a weight of 280 grams is amazing. And it also folds into seven inches, which is super cool in my opinion, because I already have a very big mobile device. Um, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is already quite sizable. I don't need to have any other extra load. I prefer to move small, especially with my vlogging equipment. They're just easier to carry around. Anyways, the Hohem offers a very portable and versatile gimbal. I have never used a Hohem device right up until this point. I have, I am a Zune girl. I've been using the Zune Smooth 4, but it cannot carry the weight of my iPhone. So I decided to try something else. I was between the Hohem i7 V2, DJI Osmo 5, and the new Smooth 5 that came out. I don't like a couple of things about the others, but this is not a comparison video. This is just the first impression video about the Hohem i7 V2. When I take it out for a spin and I have hot takes or commendations regarding it, I will be sure to let you know. There are certain features that are superb about it and that is what Hohem is marketing, like the tracking, the hand gestures and a bunch of other stuff, but that I will talk about during the course of this video. So keep watching. iSteady V2 boasts of AI vision, built-in LED video lights, moment modes, gesture control, emergency pro, power bank with its two-way charging feature, and is also a three-axis gimbal stabilizer with a quick switch roll option and ultra light foldable design that makes the gimbal compressed to seven inches, which is very portable. These are things in the box, and let me tell you what my first impression is. Ta-da! Let's do this. How to activate the gimbal you have to download the hohem pro app and i like the fact that it has visual representations because sometimes written text can be well difficult to follow so next what is in this case it looks fancy Ooh, a user manual i can see english i can see chinese oh this is multilingual So, neatly sewn to, yes, I do pay attention to details. <laughs> neatly sewn to, and this almost feels like my glass case, like my sunglass pouch. Okay, this is very portable, guys. Very portable. Saving the best for last, so bear with me. Oh, this is the base of the tripod. Looks really tiny. I'm going to tie these to the other ones that are slightly bigger, so just keep this here. Oh, this is a lifesaver. So it has a Type-C to the USB-A adapter. Totally works. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. No other than the Hohem iSteady V2. the flash it feels so nice it feels really portable my hands are tiny so for this to be about the same size as my hand is amazing okay before i unbuckle it and it's like see let me just try this because i wanted to see how this bag will fit for the longest I will say bye-bye to carrying too many things. I love it. 
on the body of the gimbal itself, you will see that there's a lot of markings and labels. You could peel it off. I'm most likely not going to so that I can read it for um, pending when I understand the gimbal well enough. This is for the phone clamp when not in use or for the clamp when in use. Safety lock feels very safe because see, you have to use some force and so. This can also work with the GoPro because it's tiny. Phone camera to the left. They didn't say that in their marketing, but it just struck me as something I could fix my GoPro on with this. The Hohem iSteady V2 is a three axis gimbal stabilizer. This will take some getting used to because the design is slightly different from the one I'm used to and the other gimbals I'm used to. So, but I'm very sure it's not going to take too long. We need to get used to it. So, okay. The charging port, the charging light indicator. These are the modes. If your hands are bigger, this just gives extra room to hold it. I think I'll use my mouth with this. The Hohem iSteady V2 comes with an inbuilt AI vision sensor. And the best part about the sensor is the fact that it doesn't use your battery and you don't need to connect it to the Bluetooth and your phone to work. It works independently. There's about an inch of video LED light around this sensor that could be used to brighten up your video. I mean, it's tiny and until I test it, I will know how strong the power is. This is the AI LED vision indicator and this is the power button you see on and off. Definitely something worthy of commendation is how well labeled this equipment is. And I think it generally helps the user interface. Um, this is phone camera to the left cup at the center and everything is just numbered one two three based on the steps you're supposed to follow one two three based on the steps you're supposed to follow when setting it up this is the phone clamp and as i said there's a little wire inside it so i think it's something you should be wary of just so you don't disconnect it the phone clamp is small enough to fit the GoPro or any other tiny action camera and or like the Insta360 and well, I think it should hold pretty amazing since the sensor also tracks without using the device, that shouldn't be a problem. To lock this, you will see the folding lock here, which is referred to as the folding lock A and this part is the B because they come together and they lock it when you're trying to close it together. Then there is the battery indicator. There is a design of the battery here that lets you see battery, battery, battery. And this light here is to show when the Bluetooth is connected or to indicate the modes of this device. Hmm. Now, something that caught my attention, right, is the joystick. It was dancing around like a lot. <laughs> this may take a little getting used to to control and just access generally. It feels sturdy, although I could see the parts inside move, but I don't think that should be a problem, but that would take a little getting used to because if you just do too much, it will just do too much. This is the tilt motor and this is the pan motor. To power this on and off, you will see the power indicator here saying power on and off. You could also use it to change between portrait and landscape modes. You could use this button here to switch between video and camera modes. This is the bi-directional charging port type C and bi-directional because it lets you use the Hohem ISD V2 as a power bank to charge your device. It has a power battery of 2,800 mAh, which is decent. I mean, it's not like you charge your phone with it permanently, but like maybe just to power it to get some shots, definitely works. And it's not so heavy. It weighs just 263 grams, which is surprising for all the things it's packing. This is a zoom slider. Again, the buttons are quite tiny. If your hands are bigger, this may be an issue for you, not an issue for me because my hands are big. It has this roughness around here, which totally helps elevate the grip and just make it slippery. So that's a plus. Although it's made of plastic predominantly, the plastic feels 
like sturdy build apart from the legs that just sound very well i guess well we'll see how long they hold for this here is where you can use the rope the lanyard hole adjustable wrist strap This is a quarter inch hole and this could go in here. Alternatively, we could also have the selfie stick tripod and wireless remote setup go in there. So let's just see what this is and how it works with this. When trying to close this, you have to pay attention to this part coming into this space. Then this folds. Okay. I'm leaving this here while we open this. Since really straightforward, make the moment enjoy it. I love this font. I, I just don't know something about it. So this is RS01 when you're purchasing. Don't forget to check for the option that lets you pick this extendable tripod. When I saw that I had the extendable tripod as well as the tracking feature, I decided to get this because the tracking feature is very necessary since I most oftentimes solo vlog. Ooh. Since I most oftentimes solo vlog and this is definitely something that will come in handy. So there is again, a very detailed selfie stick tripod setup and installation mount as well as how you could use it Ooh, it does amazing things can't wait to take this out for to spin and let you know my thoughts about it this manual also contains the remote control as well as details on how to use it predominantly in english um i guess maybe because it's just very easy to set up so you don't need much this is giving me light table rise like really really is oh this is a very nice feature just opens this way and then you can close it. I did not expect this. Again, it feels a little wobbly, but I like. Oh, this remote. You can never have too much remotes, guys, so I'm always excited to get new remotes. Don't blame me. This is tiny. So help me God, I don't lose it. So this just indicates that it's connected to the camera. There's an on and off button here and all the various modes that this does. And this tiny heart that controls the world. Oh, so cute. This and everything it does, thankfully, there's lanyard um, space here so you could just tie it. I'm sure they preempted that some of us, not me, may, may have trouble keeping it. So spirit of lightsaber. Oh, is this all? some reason I expected it to be longer than this. Looks, looks like this is this is all. Huh. Surprised. Very surprised. Okay. It holds this although this is lightweight, it still feels pretty sturdy. And the option of bending the tripod itself this way, see. is good very good very very good so this lets you have lower shots i haven't tested it but their promo video says so i will try everything out when i go to field when you compress it you just have more hand room to quickly go over the things that i got with my hohem i study v2 as well as the rs1 selfie stick tripod and wireless remote mount these are things that came in the box for the I study v2 it came with a pouch it came with this usb type c connector it came with a whole hair my study v2 obviously and uh it came with this activation card teaching you how to activate and set up everything as well as how to use the ai visual tracking and how to use the hand gestures the led lights and all the other cool features i cannot wait to try um, it also came with this manual in multiple languages that lets you go through stuff. I will be linking the Hohem official website in the description just so that if you have inquiries, you can check it out. It also came with this really cute little stand for the Hohem iStudy V2. But because I felt like an extendable tripod was going to be very necessary for me, I got the RS01, which came with this tiny mini cute remote. The remote is smaller than 
I thought, but the fact that this comes with a tripod that just collapses and closes back was a very worthy compensation for me. Feels very sturdy, and these are the things that come with it. So let me know in the comment section, what are your thoughts and which of this is your favorite? Is this something you would consider getting? If you're a Nigerian, I saw a Jumia link that sells this for 57,000 Naira. Well, without the tripod, I'll be sure to link it in the description. You're welcome. Thanks so much for watching up until this point. Like, come your way next time. Don't forget to live, to laugh, and to love. Before then, don't forget to like, comment, turn on post notifications, and as well as drop it in the comment section your thoughts about this unboxing video, your thoughts about the Hohem products, as well as your thoughts about gimbals or anything in general that you want to talk to me about. If you'd like to reach me, you can follow me on social media platforms, Blessing Create, and you can check out my website, blessingcreate.com. Like, come your way next time. Bye.